A week after Russia promised to de-escalate in Ukraine, President Obama has seen enough and is ordering a fresh round of sanctions targeting top Kremlin officials and the companies they control. These sanctions represent the next stage in a calibrated effort uh, to change uh, Russia's behavior. They'll also include a ban on high-tech exports to the Russian military, which U.S. officials say is not only massing on Ukraine's border, but covertly directing pro-Russian militias to seize buildings, and now to take foreigners like this European observer team captive. Obama says if things get worse and Russia invades, sanctions on its energy, banking and defense sectors will follow. We are keeping in reserve additional steps that we could take uh, should the situation uh, escalate further. At a news conference in the Philippines, Obama lashed out at critics who say Ukraine sanctions are a fresh sign of his weak foreign policy. He asked, what would they do? Use force? Why is it that everybody's so eager to use military force? After we've just gone through a decade of war at enormous costs, but using the U.S. military is the idea in the Philippines, last stop on Obama's Asia tour, where the two countries signed a defense deal that'll send U.S. troops here to train with the Filipinos. Obama stresses this does not mean a return to big bases like America had for decades, nor is it part of a plan to roll back China. Our goal is not to counter China. Our goal is not to contain China. I think China shouldn't be concerned about this agreement. However, if China thinks twice about seizing nearby disputed islands, nobody here would object. Now, on those Russian sanctions, the president told reporters here he knows they may well not prevent a Russian invasion of eastern Ukraine, which is why, even as they're being implemented, he and the allies are working on tougher sanctions to go into effect in a next phase. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, Manila, the Philippines.